It's time to make dinner. It's time to make dinner. Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran, and this is my place to talk about weight loss, life, fitness, being amazing, doing awesome things, and just living my life to the fullest. And today we are back in the kitchen. We are going to be making beef burritos. They're really easy to make. They're really quite tasty. We make them relatively frequently, and I decided to share it with you. This recipe can be changed a lot of ways, which I will go into as I'm making them. So today we're gonna to be making beef burritos, and these are so very easy. You really only need these five ingredients. You're gonna to need to have beef, taco seasoning, refried beans, cheddar cheese, flour tortillas. Now, when I talk about the beef, I actually use beef. I have in the past done turkey. We've used jackfruit for taco meat. We've done all kinds of different taco meat. So you can actually change up the type of meat. Today we're doing beef. And the same thing, your refried beans, you can go the fat free, you can do whatever you want. And this is just what I'm going to do today. So we're gonna to start today with browning our meat. We're gonna put that on, turn my oven on, and we are going to start browning our meat. Like I said, you can use any kind of meat you want. Today I'm using beef. Um, I was toying with using venison. We've used, I've used turkey, we've used jackfruit for tacos. So there's lots of different options. Make it your own. And then we're simply going to brown this meat. Shouldn't take very long at all. Just wanna get it nice and thoroughly cooked through. Come back in a few minutes and bring you back when this is done. So you can see that my meat is mostly cooked right now. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your taco seasoning and you're going to put your seasoning mix in and you're going to basically follow whatever your seasoning mix says. Mine actually calls for two thirds cup water. So I will add that two thirds cup water in. And we're gonna just go ahead and mix that in and we're gonna let this taco seasoning cook the way that taco seasoning normally cooks. So we're just gonna let it simmer for a little bit and continue to stir it while it's sizzling. So you just wanna keep stirring it here and there because you just wanna simmer that and let that seasoning all get into your meat and mix it up really nice. So you can see that my mix is mostly ready. I'm stirring it to make sure that it does not stick. And I'm just letting that simmer down. You can see it's getting nice and thick. Here it bubble, I like it. Once that's about ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our refried beans and I did already open them up. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna put the refried beans right into this meat mixture. And then we're just gonna stir them up. I'm gonna turn my heat down because it's not gonna need a whole lot more cooking from that. We're just gonna let that mix in. And of course, refried beans are a little bit hard at the beginning when you take them out of a can. So it will take a little bit of elbow grease. Now I need to tell you that this mixture is delicious to me. I could probably just take a spoon and eat this mixture with the taco seasoning and the refried beans together. This is a really good mixture. So now you know that I lick the spoon when I'm done with making this. And you can see I'm just mixing this mixture in. I want the meat and the refried beans to be totally well blended together. You know, I know if there's a couple little lumps of refried beans that are not mixed in, not a big deal. You just want it to be mostly mixed together. And you can see that my meat mixture was 
warm enough that I could even turn off my, my um, burner and finish mixing it. So it is all mixed together now. So now that my meat mixture is all mixed together, we're gonna go ahead and start creating the burritos. I'm gonna take my flour burrito, my flour tortillas, and open them up. Now this package is an eight count, and the recipe that I actually got originally called for eight. But that said, we actually don't need all that carbs, and it's the filling that we like. So I basically make these into four. So by making four instead, we actually are cutting back down on how many carbs we have, but we're also then getting what we really want in that. So you're gonna take a flour tortilla. You're going to take in a pal of your meat, and like I said, I'm doing big stuffings, because then, you know, it's there. You're gonna put in your filling, then you're gonna take your cheese, you're gonna open it up, and you're going to put cheese on it. I don't measure my cheese. Definitely, if you're watching calories or whatever, you can actually measure your cheese and know exactly what you have in here. You're gonna just roll it up, and then you're gonna pop it into your pan. And then it's on to the, the next one. And once again, I'm gonna take a quarter of my mixture, put some cheese on it. I just dropped some cheese and Zoe hasn't figured it out yet, so I fully expect her to bump the tripod here in a minute. She found it, but she's being delicate. And round three. Like I said, three works better for us. Instead of eating two separate, you know, we can have one or we eat just what we need. If you wanted to, you could make the eight of them and you would just have a lot of leftover. You would just have a lot. You would just eat one or two instead of the one. And then for me, this is the fourth one. And here we go, put in the mixture in. I did a pretty good job of eyeballing how much was a quarter. Once again, if you're very interested, if you really want to make sure everything is closely monitored and watched, you can measure everything out. And then we're just going to roll them. And if you need it, if you haven't seen how I roll it, you I roll it over halfway, bring up my side, bring up my other side, and then just continue to flop it over. Perfect. So I've got four of these in here, and now it is time to bake them. They don't really need to bake long because you really just want to melt the cheese. Everything else is cooked the whole way through. So you're just going to put them in the oven for about 10-15 minutes, and that will take care of it. The flour tortillas we will actually use here in the next couple days for some Mexican lasagna, which I actually do have a recipe for, and I'll put the link in the description below. And we'll be on to eating burritos tonight for dinner. I'll show you them when they come out. And here we go. See, they're a little, they're a little crispy on the top. They look good. I told you they're really, really good. One of our favorites. We usually eat it with sour cream and taco sauce and it's delicious. You can also add some of your toppings like lettuce and that kind of stuff if you want to add a little bit of extra vegetables. Thanks for watching with me. I hope you enjoy. If you try them, let me know in the comments. And in the meantime, no excuses. Zoe, must you be underneath my tripod? And then you're gonna take your cheese. 